Hello guys, welcome to the Selenium training. This is Ansul Chauhan from easybix.com and today we are going to discuss about the test ng annotations. So let's have a look of a high level agenda for today's training. So the very first thing we are going to discuss about the test ng annotations. Then we will come to understanding of the test ng.xml file. After this we will come to execute the test using test ng and then we will see the test ng html reporting and in last we will see execution order of the test ng annotations so these are the topics what we are going to discuss uh, in today's training so let's start uh, from our very first slide test ng annotations so what is annotation what is test ng annotations the first question is what is annotation so in test ng annotations are the line of codes that can control how the methods below them will be executed it means annotations in the test ng are the line of code which will control the flow of execution flow of the methods on which the uh, annotations are being attached okay so and uh, always remember the annotations in the test ng is always proceed by the at the rate symbol so we will see practically how what is the annotations how they are attached to the methods and how they can control the flow of the exec uh, the execution flow of the method we will see uh, these things in details don't worry about it okay and test ng annotations there are many an uh, annotations available in the test ng framework which have different functions accordingly so i have listed some uh, annotations in the slide so the before suit after suit before class after class before test after test before method after method these are some of the annotations which are available inside in the test ng framework so as their name uh, explain themselves before suit it means the code which is attached to the before suit will execute always before the execution of the test suits and after suit the code which is attached to the after suit will be execute after the execution of the test suit we can define the test suits test cases inside the test ng xml uh, test ng framework and these annotations work accordingly so before class if you are uh, if you are uh, uh, annoting a method with the before class then particular test code which is annoting uh, annoting with the before class execute before the execution of the test class similarly after test the code attached with the after class uh, will execute after the execution of the test class so we will see these things in the in in very detail practically so don't confuse uh, right now so these are the annotations which are available these are some of the annotations which are available in the test ng framework so we have seen uh, what is the test ng uh, what is the test ng annotations and we will see how we can use them so the next thing is understanding of the test ng.xml file so what is test ng.xml file so uh, guys test ng.xml file is a core file which is very important for the execution of the test ng suits or test ng cases test cases it is the core file which is available <coughs> uh, which should be available inside your project and you can execute your test ng test cases using that particular test ng file so test ng xml file is xml file which is used by the test ng to execute the test cases and control the flow of the execution so we will see how we can create the test ng.xml file how we can execute our test cases using test ng.xml file and what is the importance of the test ng.xml file as well okay and the next thing is execution order of the test classes can be decided uh, decide from the test ng.xml this is the one of the important point uh, the execution order, order of the test ng uh, test uh, the test classes can be decided by the test ng.xml why it is being decided by the test ng.xml because you need to define the test classes inside your test ng.xml and in which order you will define the test classes inside your test ng.xml the classes will execute in the same order and reporting can be managed using the test ng.xml obviously the test ng reporting will be managed by the test ng.xml we will see how we how uh, the test ng.xml help us to manage that uh, uh, html report in test ng and uh, come to the next slide let's see the sample structure of the test ng.xml what is the structure of the test ng.xml let me explore the complete file yeah that's it so you can see always the test ng.xml file will start with that particular line doc suit system http test ng.org test ng-1.0 ddt it uh, 
it is not necessary to include that particular line but uh, i have observed some scenarios where that particular line was missing and my testng.xml file was not executing on the linux and unix systems on windows i never faced the problem but uh, especially on the unix and linux machine machines i was facing that problem that sometimes uh, i forgot to add that line in testng.xml and the testng.xml was not executed by the linux and unix system so uh, there is no specific reason and uh, i don't have any uh, detailed uh, log for that particular problem but yes i have observed that scenario that if that particular line the first line just a minute the first line is missing in testng.xml then it may it may not it may execute on uh, linux and unix machine it may not execute on linux or uh, unix machine but windows it doesn't matter so the structure of uh, testng.xml is like this on the very first thing what we need to uh, define is suit and we need to define the name of the suit like i have defined the suit name 1 it could be anything you can define suit 1 you can define regression you can define smoke or anything what you want now we need to define the test name i have defined the no package you can mention anything here suppose your tests are related to the authentication then you can uh, put name equals to authentication if your test case are related to some kind of profiling then you can mention the name like profiling so the very first uh, annotations which comes in testng.xml is shoot then the uh, second tag comes in uh, test and the third tag is classes here we need to define the classes okay inside the classes i need i can define any number of classes so inside the classes i will uh, open another tag class and name here i will provide the name of my test class okay so we will see practically how we can do that don't worry right now we are just exploring the structure okay here you can define n number of classes uh, you don't need to worry about or you don't need to worry about the cases okay i can explain i can define only one class no you can define n number of class inside the classes uh, tag and you need to close the classes tag then you need to close the test tag the test uh, tag what we have opened here so and the second thing uh, i am defining uh, i am defining another test and name is regression one you can uh, name it anything suppose the first test you has performed for the authentication now you are performing the test of some kind of uh, uh, some kind of functional your functionality like uh, profiling or anything like update profile or anything then you can define the name like here okay and again the classes tag will open you need to mention your classes what uh, test classes are lies inside that particular uh, test uh, particular test group and then you need to close the classes then closes the test and at last you need to close the suit tag what we have opened in the very first line of the testng.xml so once the testng will execute once you execute that particular testng what we have mentioned here so first it will execute the test no package and it will execute the classes which comes inside that particular test package inside that particular test okay so no package test will execute first so that's why the test ng.xml can control the execution flow of your test classes okay and the next thing after the after the complete execution of all the test is uh, all the tests which are present inside the no package test class it will come to the next test and it will uh, execute the all tests which are which are present inside the uh, first class parameter sample and the second class parameter test then after the complete execution of the three uh, of the all three classes the test ng finish the execution and generate the html report so this is the sample structure of my test ng.xml you can find it anywhere uh, easily on google you can find it easily on google okay this is available on the google and this is available on uh, test ng's official site as well so this is the sample structure of my test ng.xml file the next thing which comes is reporting in test ng so test ng generate the html report in test execution uh, sorry test engine generates the html report of the test execution whatever the test you have executed test engine generate the html html report of it okay so we will see in coming uh, in coming in uh, coming minutes or in coming slides we will see how we can generate the test ng uh, html report test ng save the report inside the test dash output directory by default once you will execute your uh, test code using the test ng it will uh, automatically generate that particular directory test dot to, sorry test hyphen output inside your project structure and put the report inside it 
टेस्ट एनजी रिपोर्ट्स कंटेन्स द इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक टेस्ट पास काउंट टेस्ट फेल काउंट टेस्ट एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम टेस्ट सूट नेम टेस्ट नेम टेस्ट क्लास नेम एक्सेप्शन इफ यू आर गेटिंग एनी एक्सेप्शन इन एनी टेस्ट एंड द टेस्ट स्टेप्स एज वेल सो दीज आर द इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज बींग कंटेन बाय द टेस्ट एन जी एस टी एम एल रिपोर्ट फाइल ओके सो द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑर्डर ऑफ द टेस्ट एन जी एनोटेशन before going with the before going to that particular slide first i need to first i need to first we uh, i need to discuss how we can generate the test ng report okay so to generate the test ng report i need to open my eclipse just a minute it is being opened okay now i need to switch my work space okay so let's uh, create a new project new java project mm test ng execution okay test ng tutorial create it i have created a uh, sample project for the test ng now i will need to create a package it's optional you can create a package or you don't need to create a package so i'm creating a package come dot isbix inside this package i'm creating a class test execution or i can generate report report i have created the java class okay now suppose i need to define a method like public void suppose i need to print something public void and uh, name it uh, first test first test inside this method i am printing a statement like hello this is my first test now uh, we have discussed we need to define or we need to define the annotations for the method so this is the method now uh, to make it a test case i need to define the annotations and we can define the annotations using the at the rate test okay so this is if okay 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 so suppose uh, uh, we have discussed there are a lot of uh, annotations available in the test ng so test is the one of the annotations which is available in the inside in the test ng so to make any method make any java method if you want to create uh, if you want to make any java method uh, as a test case then you need to annotate that particular method with the test annotations so you are getting you can see here i am getting some kind of error so i need to hover over it okay and i need to add the test ng library we have seen in the last tutorial how we can install the test ng using in eclipse now to add that particular the installed uh, test ng library inside my project i need to add that so you can see the uh, library has been added successfully bye okay after the addition now i need to import the test so i have imported the test ng test annotations you can see it is being imported from the org.testng.annotations at the rate sorry dot at test so this is my uh this is my first test now i need to define a second test so using the same way i can define a method public void second test and i can print anything like i need to print this uh my second test to make it a test i know it to annotate that particular method using the at the rate test annotation suppose i am not uh, defining that the rate test annotation before the second method and uh, we have seen how we can execute the test case i need to right click go to the run as and i need to 
run as using the test ng test so i will click it so you can see my tests are being executed hello this is my first test is being printed here i am getting a uh, text like passed first test which is the which is the name of first method and here i am getting some information like test run equals to 1 failure 0 skip 0 you can see okay it means test ng test ng has been executed that particular class and in that particular test class test ng found only one test which is being annotated by the test at the rate test annotations so it doesn't matter how many methods are present inside your test class if you are not annotating uh, annotating that particular these particular methods using the at the rate test annotations that test then test ng will not treat them as a test method you can also see the report using in console using uh, at here result of running test generate reports here you can see the suit is default suit the test is default test the package is com.easybix.generate report which is the uh, package and class name of my class file and here i have a method first test and it took only 0.009 uh, second to execute that particular test case now we need to see the html report of that particular case so go to your project press f5 to uh, to refresh the project you can see a uh, directory is being present here test output explore this test output here you will get the index.html this is the file you need to open it okay here i'm getting the source file okay just me i need to copy the location of that particular file okay open it inside your file explorer here you are getting the test ng dot index dot html file click it so you can see it is a html file and it is saying one test zero groups times reports output ignore method and chronological view so you need in the chronological view once i will uh, click on the chronological view i will see method in chronological order com dot is big generate report and the first test now i need to click on first test okay report output ignore methods show sure. so this is the way uh, how we can uh, if you want to see the execution time then you can need to click on the times it is saying uh, number 0 first method the test is class is this and uh, took time only 9 millisecond okay uh this is the by default uh, the customized test ng custom uh, custom suit dot xml if you are not executing your test case using the test ng dot xml that in, in that case test ng is generating a default xml for you in that particular uh, test ng dot xml you can see this is the first line what we have seen in our test case and the suit the suit name is uh, some time of uh, dummy name from the test ng the test test name is dummy name from the test ng and it is mentioning the classes this class name is exact matching with the class what i have executed so it is being the test ng dot xml is being generated by the test ng itself if you are not uh, providing it in your test suppose now, now suppose i annotate uh, that particular method with the test annotations and i uh, execute the same class again run as so you can see now the test count of test has been increased it is getting two tests so the number of uh, methods which are attached with that particular at the rate test annotations being considered as a test case by the test ng so inside that particular method inside the first test you can uh, you can write down your code or you can write down your test scripts and test ng will execute that test script you can see i to execute that particular java code i don't need to invoke main method i don't need to create the object of the class test ng is doing all the things by itself i just need uh, what i need to do i just need to put the annotations before the method to get the report i need to refresh it okay go to the location and click on index.html so you can see okay it is not being show sure. so now i'm getting the two methods one test but two methods so the first method is 
first test the second is second test what i mentioned in my test ng class sorry in my java class so this is the way how you can execute the test using the test ng how you can see the reports generate the reports in test ng and where you can find out your uh, html report in the test ng okay let's come let's come to our slide so we have seen the reporting as well we have seen uh, how we can uh, execute the test using test ng dot xml using the test ng now let's have a look of execution order of the test ng annotations so very first thing it is very simple to find out the execution of the execution order of the test ng annotations test ng annotations execute in the predefined order so very first we need to see the available annotations in the test ng dot in the test ng framework so let's create a new class test ng annotation execution order i have created a new class now i'm creating a method public void before class okay okay mm, just name it anything like first method okay now put the annotations over it so we are putting before so how many before available in my test ng framework is before class before groups before method before student before test so i am putting before class over here i am putting sys system out in before class so once that particular method will execute it will print the in before class text inside my console using the same way i will copy this method and create another method second method and put before method over here and here i put before method okay again copy the same code put like anything what you want like before method before groups okay we will see the groups in when when we when we will run about the test ng groups let's take some other notations like before suit and name it third third method and here we will put before suit okay again copy the same code and not uh, it fourth fourth method put here okay what else i need to define before test and put here before test okay so we have seen the before now uh, again copy the same and uh, let's take it fifth fifth method before has been finished now we are taking test test and in test using the same way we need to define the after method as well okay so before class just beside it i am uh, donating after class after after class first fifth sixth after class and here put the after method after method seven after method using the same way you can put uh, after suit
after suit and I think 8 and after suit using the same way we have before test and we will put after test. after test and I think this is the ninth after test so let's have a look at my class so I have the before class I have after class I have before method I have after method I have before suit, after suit, before test and after test and the and the test. So can you imagine how many tests uh, once I will execute that particular file that how many tests uh, are being uh, noted inside the report file? Let's see. And can you guess the order execution order of these files? Uh, let's remove it. Execution order of these methods which will uh, execute first and which will execute uh, last I think uh, if we uh, go with the general name naming convention then uh, this should the before class should execute first and uh, after class should execute last before method should, exe after, uh, should execute uh, before uh, every method after method should execute after uh, every method before suit uh, should execute uh, before the suit uh, although I don't I didn't mention the suit here but I will see how it will execute and before test will execute before this particular test I think this should be the execution order so let's see uh, the execution order and you will be surprised after the after find the after finding the execution order let's execute as a test engine.xml so here you can see in the console my class has been executed so first go with the results so only one test method only one test is being executed pass test count is one but we have the all methods are being executed so why i am getting the test count is one because in my all methods we have only one method which is being annotated by test annotations so it means the methods which is being attached by the test annotations will be treat only test okay so the very first thing which is being executed is the before suit so before suit is executing first before suit before test is going going executed and uh, before test uh, before class is being executed and before class before method is being executed so you can see the execution order the suit will execute first then test execute then class execute then method execute then test execute and in the same way af uh, after the test after me after method execute after method after class execute after class after test execute i think we need to forget mention the after suit here okay no problem so from where that particular execute execution order is being uh, referred how the methods are being executed in that manner as per as per our understanding before class would execute first then before test should execute so to find out the reason to find out the reason why the execution order is like before suit before test before class before method we need to visit our testng.xml file so you can see the execution is all I, I, I told you the execution is controlled by the test xml although we are not uh, mentioned any test xml but we have seen test ng by default generate and test xml if you are not uh, mentioning anything so you can see the very first annotation which is present inside my test xml is suits that's why it is executing the before suit first and after the suit I have the test that's why you can see in the structure the test is being executed and after the test i had the classes i have the classes inside my test that's why after test the class is being executed and inside my classes i have the test cases so that's why test is being executed what is the before method 
सो बिफोर मैथड और आफ्टर मैथड विल एग्जीक्यूट ईच एंड एवरी टाइम बिफोर एंड आफ्टर ऑफ ईच टेस्ट सपोज इफ यू हैव टू इफ यू हैव मैं टू टेस्ट इन योर इन यू इन दिस फाइल इन माई दिस इन माई दिस जावा फाइल देन एट द रन टाइम यू विल गेट बिफोर मैथड two times and after method two times because i have two tests it doesn't mean that before test will execute twice no before method will execute twice before uh, before test will execute every time the test mentioned inside your test ng dot xml but before method execute every time before the execution of any uh, method which is annotated by at the rate test annotations inside your java file so is that clear what is the execution order of the test ng dot xml i have i have i think i have explained each and everything so let's come to our slide execution order so the test ng execution annotations executed in the predefined order we have seen that sample test to know the execution order we have already seen that test ng annotations executed in the same way as they defined in the test ng dot xml yes definitely we have seen them so you need to open that particular file so you can see only one test is being executed fifth one okay reporting output is nothing ignore method is nothing chronological view is this so third method will execute first fourth method then first method then fifth method this is the name of my methods why i have mentioned in my java file but why uh, it execute first because it is being annotated by my before suite it is annotated by before test before class before method so this is the execution order so uh, i think this should be pretty much clear so thank you guys thanks for your time if you have any question if you have any query regarding the tutorial then you can put your question and your comment and your query inside the comment and uh, we will be happy to answer you if you find it useful and you find it uh, interesting then you please uh, like and share my video it will be a great help for us thank you thank you very much